Hundreds of people at the state capitol, including quite a few who wouldn't normally cheer for Governor Jan Brewer, but they are getting behind her plan to expand Medicaid. Brewer shared the stage with emergency responders, veterans, business leaders, all hoping to win over Republican lawmakers. ABC 15's Christina Estes is taking action, breaking down this proposal. And Christina, this is the same governor who sued the Obama administration over Obamacare. Now she wants to expand Medicaid. That's right. This is part of the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, which Governor Brewer has railed against. But in this case, Brewer says if Arizona doesn't take the federal funding, other states will. Brewer claims that expanding Medicaid will not only help hundreds of thousands of Arizonans get the health care they need, but also help others in the state. Supporters say right now the average family pays what they call a hidden health care tax, estimated at nearly 2000 bucks a year. That's money we spend on uninsured people calling 911 or showing up at the ER. Scenarios shared by emergency responders at today's rally. The last thing any of us wants to see is a life lost because first responders were diverted for a medical issue that could have been avoided had the patients had appropriate access to care. Now, while the federal government would tackle the biggest chunk of this Medicaid expansion, Arizona would still need to come up with about 200 million bucks. Here's how Brewer says she'll do this by taxing hospitals. And you might be surprised to hear they're all behind it. They're ready to do it. But one state lawmaker says they're only supporting it because they're really going to cash in. Yeah, they're certainly going to reap the benefits from that. And uh, Christina, what safeguards are there if the federal government then pulls its funding here? Great question. Under Brewer's plan, if the federal government cuts funding below 80 percent, then the expansion would disappear. Yeah, and uh, hopefully that $200 million would go back into the budget as well. Thanks so much, Christina.